Hello, I'm Sapna Shah and I'm joined by Kathy Stahl, Managing Director at PIMCO, and John Gersma, the CEO of the Harris Poll, to discuss PIMCO's Women and in Investing platform. As part of our broader commitment to diversity, we seek to accomplish our broader gender equality objectives through our Women and in Investing platform. This platform has three pillars. One is women in investing, which entails doing our part to develop the pipeline of talent within investment and in leadership roles within our firm and the asset management industry. Second is investing in women, which involves thinking about gender equality on a global scale and matching the time, talent, and resources of PIMCO colleagues with external organizations that have mutual goals. Finally, the third pillar is women as investors, which acknowledges the increasing influence of women's control over the management of personal wealth and seeks to understand how we can best address their evolving needs. On this last point, we've partnered with John and the Harris Poll to conduct proprietary research on trends and opportunities as they relate to women as investors. So my first question is for you, John. In the context of the research you've done over many years, um, you evaluated how societal change can impact many industries. Uh, amongst the most interesting work is related to the impact of female ascendance on innovation, leadership, and policy. Can you tell us a little bit more about that research? Sure, Sapna. I'm really excited to share it because what we've seen over the last several years has been the rise of feminine values in leadership and innovation and business. And we got there through a lot of the research that I did with my co-author, Michael D'Antonio, where we looked at a very large set of data, over 64,000 people. Some of the interesting highlights that came out of it included the fact that two-thirds of people around the world thought the world would be a better place if men thought more like women. And we were curious about that, so we went deeper into the research and found out through modeling the data that many of the traits that uh, both men and women associated with uh, belonging more to women were things like empathy, selflessness, patience, collaboration. And these were things that were really seen as not just feminine, but actually ideal catalysts for the modern economy. So Kathy, as a managing director at PIMCO, you're one of the women for whom John's research is applicable. You've been in the asset management industry for more than two decades. What shifts in the industry have you seen in that time? And what does that mean in terms of what our research says for the expectations that women have for investment management? Sure. I did start in the industry in the mid-90s, and I was lucky enough to start by working on a program that sought to understand women's attitudes and behaviors toward investing. We were very much geared toward getting women's attention. We were using demographic factors to compel them to pay more attention to investing, to like investing, to engage when it came to planning for their long-term financial security. A lot of it was driven by demographic factors such as a longer lifespan than their male counterparts, um, being in and out of the workforce and the impact that would have on earnings you know, over a lifetime. So a little bit of a fear factor was associated with it. Fast forward two decades, I do think that the industry has come a long way, um, but as the PIMCO research reveals, we still have work to do. More than half of the women surveyed um, said that they don't feel the financial industry is geared toward meeting their lifestyle or their realities. That means there's a disconnect between this group that's ready to be served and our industry. And I think it's really important, and certainly the industry is paying more attention and should pay more attention because John talked about the currency. Well, women control more than half of the wealth of the United States and 30% of global wealth. So you have a really engaged, empowered cohort that has a perception of the industry that its needs are not being met. That's a great opportunity for PIMCO and other investment managers to flex, to meet women where they are, who are ready to be investors, who are investors, and who want to be more successful investors. John, maybe I can ask you to focus on what individuals can do to be agents of change in the context of meeting client needs, which are of the utmost importance to the industry. Yeah, I mean, Kathy, it was so fascinating. You were talking about getting past that fear factor, right? Because we saw in, in our new research the fact that women have actually moved past a lot of that. They're very aspirational. 60% of them uh, want to be rich, and they're not apologetic about it. And that gets amplified when you look at millennial women in our data, again, one third of whom uh, had expectations that their income would grow by 40% over the next five years. But with that comes sort of a different way of talking about wealth. And I think our data shows us that um, from the PIMCO study that wealth is a multi-dimensional term. It's not just paper and assets and investments. It's actually 
today's happiness, it's relationships, it's accomplishment, it's goals and aspirations, it's health and wellness. That was an overriding dominant theme in, in our data. Absolutely. I think some of the difference is rooted in how women define performance. Things that matter to women help me generate the income that I need to live the life that I want to live. Um, help me have the flexibility with my money to meet both short and long-term goals. For an industry that's so focused on retirement, that's a change. Thank you. This is really great insight that can impact how we work with clients, so I appreciate your time. John, Kathy, thank you all for engaging with us as well.